All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on in love for Pisces. The person on your mind, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see what messages we got for you guys going into the week for love. What's going on with you? the person on your mind when you click on this video you got emotional intimacy i am afraid to truly open up to you being raw and authentic with my emotions is something that i am still working on at least they're still working on it at least someone's working on something all right you got it's on i see you looking good and moving on i don't care who you're talking to i am better and i will compete for you oh boy so someone who may have a hard time opening up emotionally may want to come in and fight for you or they don't care if you're talking to someone else, whatever. Okay, you got playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, and posting is to get, posting it to get your attention. So someone here could be even trying to like get your attention by posting things, saying things, trying to trigger someone. That sounds very mature. All right, so need time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. All right. Interesting. All right, let's get some additional information. What else is going on in this situation for Pisces and the person on their mind or someone who has you on their brain? All right, what are the messages? Four cards. Damn, that shot out. Uh, damage, we are both hurting. We are both hurting from this. So maybe you and this person are both feeling, feeling the heaviness of this connection. Okay, whatever has happened here. All right, you got shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. Okay, so somebody could have, you know. <clears throat> somebody may not have really seen like their own shadow side. You got destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. And third party, uh, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. Just take it in there, please. Okay. Um, third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. You made me realize my flaws and disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know. There sounds like a little bit of immaturity in this reading already. Someone here may need time to heal, but I also feel like someone doesn't really care if someone is talking to someone else, it's like they still want to compete for this, even though there's been like damage and someone may be trying to heal. There could have been a third party that came in to the situation. Someone's starting to understand like, hey, maybe I wasn't perfect in this relationship. Okay, no one's fucking perfect, but let's just, you know, whatever. Um, someone may be realizing like they played a part when they may have thought that they were on the right side of something or maybe someone didn't understand how much damage that they caused or vice versa show me pisces overall energy please seven of pentacles so you are you're waiting okay you could be waiting you could be investing you could be manifesting you may be some of you guys could be planting garden i know it's springtime a lot of places here in the u.s um a lot of places here in the u.s here in the u.s okay <laughs> period it's springtime but um yeah, some of you guys are like waiting for some type of harvest or waiting for something to materialize. You could be focused on the things that you hold value to. Okay, some of you guys could be working on your finances, maybe even trying to repair your credit or build your credit uh, or save up money uh, in some way. Show me the person on Pisces mind. You got the seven of wands, seven, seven. So this person could be very guarded. They could even be very protective over you or over their own energy. Um, they could be blocking out people, places, things. They could be trying to defend themselves in some type of way. 
Show me Pisces emotions, Four of Pentacles. You're holding back, Pisces. You're keeping your emotions close to your chest at this time, okay? You may be waiting for someone else to make, make a move or do something, say something. I'm giving up on you. What song is that? Say something, I'm giving up on you. I don't know what song that is. But anyway, show me this person's emotions. Show me this person's emotions. Thank you. The Hermit. This person is very like withdrawn Virgo energy. Okay. They could be taking a step back themselves. Kind of guarded, kind of defensive. They may be doing some reflecting of their own. This could be someone who's older or they're very wise. This is like, I mean, this is in their emotion sector. This person could be like older or very emotionally intelligent or they have a lot of experience when it comes to emotions. How does that work? Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with you or with my emotions is something I'm still working on. So in their emotions, they're, they're the hermit. So this person doesn't really like... They're very guarded. This could be this person, like someone who's like their emotions is the hermit. Like they, they pull back from them. They withdraw from them. They, they are very guarded and defensive. And I see you holding back your emotions too, Pisces. You may be waiting, keeping your emotions close to your chest or just focusing on your pentacles, your investments, your time, where you spend your time, your energy, your resources. You could be being a little bit conservative at this time too with the four of pentacles. It's like I ain't giving to shit that doesn't grow. I'm not putting any effort into something that isn't going to, you know, have a return on my investment. Like if I'm giving in, then, you know. Okay, show me Pisces. How's Pisces moving? How's this person moving? Y'all be sure to hit the like button if this reading is resonating with y'all. You got the Nine of Cups. So you're moving towards some type of wish fulfillment, Pisces. Um, you could be happy and content, you know, doing your thing. This person, how they're moving, they got the world. They could be doing something online. They could be traveling. They could be at a distance or foreign. This person may also have some type of success, achievements, accolades. This can also talk about closing out of a cycle, starting a new cycle. So maybe this person is wanting to close out a cycle, start something new, or maybe they have closed the cycle out and they're starting something new. Either way, Pisces. And then you got the Nine of Cups um, with how you're moving. You're moving towards some type of wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is like being happy and emotionally feeling content, feeling emotionally fulfilled. So I kind of get the sense that like both y'all may be like distant from one another or separate from one another. And it's almost like you find happiness. I'm not going to say you're happy without this person. You might be shit. I don't know. But this is I kind of get the sense that there may be like unfinished business here. <sighs> but it's like I'm 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 in a happy place emotionally by not giving to this because giving to this I feel like. But it's almost like there's still an energy of maybe like waiting and this person's just like withdrawn. They're guarded. They could be distant from you, emotionally distant, physically distant, very guarded. So I feel like you're not, you're not, you're pulling back your energy too. And I feel like you're okay with that. Nine of Cups. Or you find some type of emotional contentment within that. Show me Pisces intentions with this person. Show me this person's intentions with Pisces. You got the justice card. You just want something to be fair, honest. When it comes to this person, Libra energy, you may have Libra in your chart. But I feel like you just want something to be balanced. Okay? You just want someone, you like, you want honesty, you want integrity, you want equality. You want justice, maybe. Okay, show me this person's intentions with you. Oh, I don't know if I want to take that one. Kind of dropped it, but we'll see. 
we've got the six of swords again this person could be at a distance or they're trying to they could be trying to heal need time to heal this person could be like very withdrawn because maybe they're focusing on their healing okay who wants who back <laughs> is what i want to know it's on I feel like someone's like trying to get on the right path. Someone may be realizing like, I don't know, there could have been with damage, shadow side, third party, there could have been like some type of third party energy, a friend, a lover, a mother, a cousin, an aunt, a job, a, a problem in someone's own life. I don't know. There could have been something here that interfered, but that came in between this. And I feel like somebody didn't really, they may have thought like, um, I feel like one person thought that the other person was the problem when I feel like now someone's looking at themselves and realizing that the part that they played was a catalyst for another person's behavior. So it's like a cause and effect. You know what I mean? Um, and somebody may be kind of thinking like, there's been so much damage in this connection. Both of you guys were hurt from this. I was hurt. You were hurt. Or maybe one person hurt the other person. And now that person who hurt that person is now hurting themselves or they hurt themselves in the process of hurting you, something like that. Somebody here could have played a lot of games. Um, yeah. All right. Show me what the outcome's going to be for the week ahead between these two. The Nine of Swords, a lot of overthinking. Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. So someone here is, uh, I don't want to get copyrighted. I like this song though. Y'all should check this song out. I feel like this resonates with the reading. Um, it's called This Love. Yeah, This Love by Taylor Swift. All right, so there could be, um, I'm going to clarify these. But again, there's that emotional distance. Someone here could be walking away from friends or family or a third party. Someone here could also be ending some type of a long-term connection. I feel like there is something here that's picking up momentum or picking up speed or there could be some type of messages, action, travel coming in. But someone is definitely like in their thoughts, in their mind, overthinking, maybe feeling a sense of regret or sadness. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. Hmm. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone here could regret getting into a connection with someone, either because someone here was very good looking or, I don't know, there's a mix in energies. King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, I guess that could, doesn't always have to be bad, but I feel like who, someone here is very grounded, stable, loyal, committed, and one person's more like energetic fiery feisty out there you know marches to the beat of their own drum they go after what it is that they want i don't know and then there could be the single energy here again virgo energy this came up in a reading i did earlier a strong virgo energy showing up i don't know if you guys are dealing with the virgo um or someone who has very significant virgo placements but um somebody may want to be in a partnership or a soulmate connection or you may have a soul tie to this person or they have one to you hangman and the two of cups or someone's realizing that hey you're my soulmate you are my my person my partner but someone here could be in a commitment with someone okay all right show me this eight of wands please the tower Something here could be happening unexpectedly. Someone here could be watching, looking. There could definitely be communication coming in unexpectedly. Someone here could definitely be spying or watching. Scorpio energy. 
someone's trying to get information and whatever they see causes a tower or for you vice versa Eight of Wands. Show me. The, there could be some type of telepathic communication here as well. Um, show me the Nine of Swords. Got the Four of Cups. Someone's worried about being rejected, feeling left out in the cold, or someone here is just feeling abandoned. Could be struggling financially, having health problems. Doesn't have to be, but someone here is definitely feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, feeling rejected, feeling like they missed an opportunity, and it's causing someone sleepless nights. Show me the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Judgment. So there's a decision being made about some type of a long-term connection. Queen of Cups. Oh, shit. Two cards. High Priestess, Queen of Cups, and the Judgment. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Um, I don't know, Pisces. If you're making a final decision here, you may have forgiven a situation or... You're making a decision about something not being you're using your intuition, focusing on self-love, self-care. You've learned some type of a major lesson here. You could have lost out on a lot financially. Mm. Show me the t uh, three of cups. King of Cups in the reverse, Two of Swords, King of Cups in the reverse, and Queen of Wands. I feel like someone here has lost like love or lost emotion for someone who could have had divided loyalties or third party energy. Someone here knows like somebody's, uh, somebody knows someone's lies. Or someone knows that someone is sneaky here. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords. It's like somebody sees somebody clearly. They know someone's like sneaky or they're a liar. Someone here could be emotionally unavailable. King of Cups in the reverse. Emotional intimacy. Like someone may know that someone here is very attractive or fiery. But they they hide their emotions very well. They um, They may have divided loyalties. They may have a choice between two that they're trying to keep hidden. That's why someone's emotionally unavailable and maybe only available for passion or desire or some shit like that. Show me the Eight of Cups. Show me the Eight of Cups. Two of Wands. So someone's making a choice or a decision here to walk away from a situation because they feel like there's there's n there, like there's no success. There's no King of Wands energy. Could be an Aries Leo Sag making a decision to walk away. Uh, there could also be something. Um, give me one more. Something here could be publicly exposed, or someone here could be in their ego. Someone could be walking away from someone that has a big ego, or someone just is making a choice to take action and disconnect emotionally because they feel like there's no success, there's no victory. Um, somebody may also know that someone doesn't see them in a positive light. Like if somebody used to put somebody on a pedestal, somebody has fallen off that horse, okay? Someone got knocked off their spot. Nine of Swords and the Hangman and Six of Pentacles. Someone's worried that someone's given to someone else. Um, or somebody here could be like waiting. No. Somebody could have gained some type of enlightenment that someone's given to someone else. Yeah. Lovers and Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, starting something new. Somebody could have definitely pulled back their energy from somebody who put them in a third party or broke their heart. All right, so let's get a few cards from here. If you guys want a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Um, you guys got all must-have prizes, trying to please everyone. So someone here could be a people pleaser, okay? It is always tea time, eternity, endless moments, and repetition. Someone may feel like there's like a lot of gossip or something here is repetitive, or there's like a lot of like, how do I say that? Like a lot of people who have an opinion about a situation. Okay. In a moment, a moment's regret, nostalgia, idolizing the past fear, you've made a mistake. So yeah, someone here could fear like they made a mistake. 
Um, they made some poor choices and now someone feels like someone's not giving them attention. Someone has disconnected from a, a situation emotionally. Someone's got their confidence back. Someone here's, you know, made a choice or a decision about a connection. I do feel like there is like a strong chemistry between whoever I'm talking to or whatever. I don't know. Cause there's a third party here. So I feel like I don't know if somebody went towards a very passionate connection, okay, went and opened up emotionally about a situation. Like, there could have been King of Cups, Queen of Cups, you know, but the King of Cups is in the reverse. So I don't know if there was, like, a masculine here who was emotionally unavailable. Somebody could have went towards something that was very passionate and sexual and intimate and whatever else, and they got rid of this love, the connection that could have had love, okay, King, Queen of Cups, but someone wasn't opening up emotionally. Now someone feels like they missed an opportunity with this Queen of Cups. Um, they feel abandoned, left out in the cold. They feel stressed out over this connection because I feel like whatever, you know, someone else could have had divided loyalties too. Someone could have been in their ego. Whatever choice somebody made to walk away, it was not a success. Someone fears that they made a mistake. And they probably did. Alright y'all, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope that this helped. I hope it gave you clarity. If it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.